Welcome to the video guide for our NASCO Lifeform Venipuncture and Injection Training Arms. This video will teach you the proper operation, maintenance, and tips and troubleshooting for our complete range of training arms. NASCO offers the largest selection of venipuncture and injection training arms in the world. All of the NASCO arms contain our unique Lifeform skin and vein system. The Lifeform skin has extraordinary detail and unmatched realism. It is tough like human skin, presenting the realistic feeling of breaking through the outer skin layer. Also, our Lifeform veins give the accurate pop sensation of correctly entering the vein. The Lifeform skin and vein system is manufactured from self-healing materials. This prevents leaking after multiple uses and keeps the outer skin looking new. All of our NASCO venipuncture and injection training arms feature economical replacement parts, extending the life of the product. The first step in operating a NASCO Lifeform IV arm is to pressurize the vein system with synthetic blood. Add distilled water to the synthetic blood concentrate included with the mannequin and shake until mixed. Close the clamp on the tubing. Pour the synthetic blood into the IV bag and hang the IV bag on a stand no more than 18 inches 45 centimeters above the arm attach the arm tube to the top IV bag attach the other arm tube to the bottom IV bag now loosen the clamp on the top bag and blood will begin to flow through the arm Once the air bubbles stop appearing, close the tube again. Turn the arm over and release the clamp. Once the air bubbles have stopped, close the top clamp. Your IV arm is now fully pressurized and ready for training. To perform intravenous infusion, begin with a fully pressurized NASCO Lifeform IV arm. First, regulate the top clamp slightly open. Now, insert the infusion needle inside the vein. You will receive a realistic flashback in the infusion needle when it is properly inserted into the vein. IV infusion can be performed along any vein on the arm. For IV injection and withdrawal, begin again with a fully pressurized NASCO Lifeform IV arm. First, close the clamp for the bottom IV bag. Then, open the clamp on the top IV bag. Your arm is now ready for injection or withdrawal along any vein on the arm. To inject fluids, use a small diameter needle, either 20 or 25 gauge. Puncture the skin and vein. Test for realistic flashback and inject liquid into the vein. To withdraw blood, insert the needle into the vein and withdraw the synthetic blood.
After each class use, disconnect the venous blood and flush the venous system. You may reuse the synthetic blood by emptying it from the IV bag to a plastic bottle. To flush the arm, rinse it thoroughly with normal water. Now tilt the arm upside down and allow time until properly dried. If there are any stains on the arm skin, wipe the arm with soap and water. For more difficult stains, use our NASCO REN cleaner, which is sold separately. To extend the life of your NASCO Lifeform IV arm, utilize the following tips. Use distilled water for mixing the synthetic blood. Hang the top IV bag no more than 18 inches, 45 centimeters, above the arm. Use small needles, 20 or 25 gauge. Always clean the arm after use to prevent clogging of the veins. Use only soap and water or NASCO REN cleaner when removing surface stains on the skin. If the synthetic blood is not flowing through the arm, first check to make sure the arm is properly connected and pressurized. If the arm is clogged, attempt to clear the clog by using a large syringe and injecting water into the vein. If neither of these work, a vein may be pinched closed inside the arm. Remove the outer skin layer and inspect the veins for any problems. If there is no blood withdrawal or flashback upon needle insertion, first verify that the needle is properly inside the vein. Next, check to make sure the arm is properly connected and pressurized. There may also be air trap inside the veins. In this case, Roll the arm over and watch for air bubbles to be released. Lastly, ensure that the IV bag is hung sufficiently above the IV arm. If these troubleshooting tips do not help, contact your local NASCO distributor for assistance. Thank you for watching the video guide to our NASCO Lifeform Vayner Puncture and Injection Training Arms. If you have any additional questions, review the video, read our instruction manual, or contact your local NASCO distributor.